Hi there. If you saw my last short called, Do You Have a Dirty Secret That's Holding You Back? Well, it wasn't a uh, teaser or trying to get you in here sensationalizing anything or whatsoever. So, uh, but here's the truth. I do have a dirty little secret, or I did. I live in an apartment that was built in 1972. I moved in here in 1992. When I moved into this apartment, it had not been upgraded in any way since the building was built. Now, to get on with the rest of the story. By the way, this is unfiltered, and I'm not going to be editing this a whole lot, so here we go. So, when I moved into the building, there were harvest gold stove and a fridge I actually had to manually defrost on my own. I have since been upgraded to a new fridge because the last one short-circuited. Another story in itself. But the carpets are from 1972. They're really worn out. Uh, the paint uh, was pretty bad in here too. A few years ago, I asked a friend, some friends to come over. We had a pizza night and they painted for me. And when they pulled out the stove, this was about 12 years ago, when they pulled out the stove, it hadn't been cleaned since I had moved in here because back then my disability was much worse than it is now. News about my disability right here. I'll be doing another update. If you're listening to this and you've listened to me in the past, you're going to see a difference, right? But anyhow, back to the rest of the story. Call me Paul Harvey. Well, I knew how bad that stove was when my friends came over to paint and they didn't clean underneath there. They were in a rush. They just pushed it out, pushed it back in again, and off they went on their merry way, leaving me knowing what was behind there. It was too dangerous for, for me with my balance issues to pull it out. And also, I'm only five foot three, so pulling out a big stove without the proper, you know, you need longer arms, it wasn't going to work. So for the next 12 to 14 years, that dirty little secret just continued to grow and grow. And I knew that grease attracts more grease. I know dust attracts more dust. I knew every time that something dropped in between my countertop and the stove, it wasn't going into a nice little magical place that made it dis disappear. Uh, and it became a place of shame for me, but then it became a place where it was stopping me from moving on in a way. My old stove is 1972. It's Harvest Gold. You can, that's the era that those stoves came from. You come from my generation, think Brady Bunch. Okay, so it's the oven isn't working at the very best. It does a job, but I have to rotate the food in the oven constantly because of uneven heat. The timer goes off whenever it wants to, even though I never use the timer. I always use the microwave, just stuff like that. And I went, enough is enough. My quality of life has been affected because of my fear of somebody seeing my dirt and my grime underneath my stove and my refrigerator that I have no control over in cleaning up. I can't clean up my own mess. Because of my disability, I spill things all the time, or I used to spill them a lot more than I do now. But after the story, don't forget up there. So anyhow, I finally said enough is enough is enough. And a good friend of mine's son happened to be in town. He is an oil worker, um, and he's a laborer there, so he's doing used to doing grunge dirty work. He's also a strong young man. And I knew he needed a little bit of extra cash, so I said, hey, come over clean for me. And I paid him handsomely for it, and I left the job for him to do. I did not want to see what was behind my stove or my refrigerator because I already had a good idea what was going to be there. So he cleaned it all up for me. I paid him for it. And then this week, I've contacted my maintenance department saying, hey guys, I need a new stove. Haven't heard back from them yet. Hopefully it's in the works, who knows? But at least my fear of the shame of being exposed for having dirty little secrets is no longer there. So why am I telling you all this? Well, metaphorically speaking, is there some dirty little secret in your life that uh, started off small. Perhaps it's an ancient dirty little secret, something from your past that you've been afraid to bring to God, or maybe you brought it to God, and God has been asking you, you need to talk to somebody about this, somebody face-to-face, -face, somebody who you can trust, somebody who once that secret is exposed, 
to the light, it's just going to vanish and it's going to go and it's never going to hold you back from enjoying your quality of life as you know it now. Jesus already paid the price. You don't have to pay out of your own pocketbook for the mess to be cleaned up. But if you don't deal with this now, it's not going to get any better. Grime is going to clean to the grime. Dirt is going to clean to the dirt. Now is the time to deal with that. If there's something that you've been afraid to bring out into the light because you didn't want to deal with the consequences and you didn't want to see it, sometimes you have to see it so you can see that it wasn't as bad as you thought it was. This guy came into my apartment and cleaned for about one hour and he had it completely cleaned. Everything spick and span, everything put back to place. So when you have got those dirty little secrets in your life, secret sins, maybe ad addictions you've been hiding, maybe it's not addictions to drug or alcohol, maybe it's a game, maybe it is when God's calling you to spend time with him and you feel, I don't want to be there, so I'm just going to watch YouTube or whatever. I can get there myself, so I'm just saying those things. But maybe it's time for you to deal with those things and get it cleaned up and move on because it's affecting your quality of life too today. So reach out either to a trusted friend. Maybe you've been betrayed in the past where you've shared from your heart with others. But you know what? It's time to let go of the fear of being betrayed again if that dirty little secret is attracting more and more dirt and grime. If you have to, reach out on an, an anonymous hotline. I'm not going to give any links because I live in Canada. The numbers are different here than they are in the United States or in the UK or wherever you're watching this. But you can call and hash it out. Call or make an appointment with your uh, pastor. Talk with him. Uh, reach out, guys, and start to clean up the mess. And you know what? You don't have to clean up that mess necessarily. Maybe you will be held accountable in some ways to do stuff that you need to do. Like I needed to take out the trash bag full of the trash from what was cleaned up, right? So maybe there might be some re restitution or whatever, but don't let your past, don't let your dirty little secret of today start to cling to you and add grease and grime that blocks your vision of seeing your f future the way that God wants you to see it. And the way he wants you to see it is glistening with goodness and with hope.